everybody, welcome back to 539 Productions. So today I'm at this uh, historic old graveyard in the middle of the country, a really cool place, has a, an amazing looking uh, sign at the entrance, hopefully we'll be able to get a look at that here in just a moment. Uh, I was thinking there might possibly be an old abandoned church here, although I'm not sure on that right now. We're gonna look around and see if there's any evidence of any remains or structures here. So uh, gonna get out, check it out. Uh, looks like a fair amount of new graves. I'm not sure how many of them are historic, but a, a decent amount of them appear to be from the 1800s. And so I'm hoping to find maybe some veterans graves, uh, maybe from the Civil War, and uh, see what all we can find here. I'm not really sure exactly what's gonna happen. I love how great a shape this one is in. It's one of the uh, taller of this particular design and a lot of times they fall over. That's kind of an interesting name too, Harmon G. Now I've heard uh, Harmon as a last name, but uh, never actually as a first name in my experience. Even this uh, particular graveyard has a uh, few stones that have completely disappeared. And it may be uh, that the stone fell backwards and has just sunk over time. And I wasn't really quite sure what that was for a moment, but it's a crown. Which is kind of interesting. I don't see many crowns. This is a very interesting condition. Lots of discoloration, lots of growth on it. another unique one here now this is definitely a veteran of the Civil War and you can see the two draped flags over I'm not sure what that is in front of them um, maybe some sort of uh, symbol of the division of infantry or division of the uh, military that they were in at the time and here appears to be yeah you know, World War two which surprisingly I'm not sure why but find far less World War One and World War II graves in this area than uh, Civil War graves. Well, there is some definite signs of abandonment in the woods behind, but I'm not sure if it's anything substantial. Just looks like a old piece of corrugated steel. You can see in a lot of these places how spread out things are just by uh, how mixed the different types of uh, markers are. This stone here is incredible and appears to be fairly old as well. Definitely one of the more elaborate markers of the time.
I just love how those raised letters look. And here's another one of these uh, markers that whatever it's made out of uh, shows some amazing discoloration over the years. It almost looks like it's been painted at one time. Part of the family section here, the last name Abel. I've never found one of these. You can see here that Daniel Abel was actually a veteran of the War of 1812. For those international viewers not up on their US history, that is when Britain came back to reconquer and retake over. And right behind here is another Civil War veteran. You can see here, not only were they a veteran of the Civil War, but they came back and became a reverend, or they were a reverend before they left for the war. But uh, it shows the uh, different types of uh, people uh, from all walks of life that were affected by these wars. Wow, and here you can see even another War of 1812 veteran. Only the second I've ever found. And I'm coming up right now on this cluster of markers, which again uh, would have been fairly separated years ago. Many of these uh, graves in between the older markers are actually uh, World War veterans and uh, Korean War veterans. And so uh, much of these spaces would have been empty when uh, these uh, graves here were first set up. I'm really interested now to see just how many of these grave markers represent veterans of the War of 1812. Not quite sure what this is here. It might just be things that were thrown away, but it kind of looks like a marker. However, it'd be a very strange looking marker, so I'm not sure um, what exactly I'm looking at. It's just a, it looks like a spare uh, pot, so maybe it's something that's been discarded over the years. There's definitely more than a few things at least small things that appear to be abandoned in the woods behind but directly behind was where I was thinking there might still be remains of a church and it appears that if that were the case that it has since been torn down and there is absolutely no structure behind this at all. And it does appear that there was some uh, heavy machinery here. There's definitely some very, very large tire uh, tracks in the mud. And so it appears if there was uh, anything left, it's long gone now. But uh, I'd like to thank you for watching this recent episode of uh, 539 Productions. Found some amazing stuff here today. I was not expecting to find uh, even one, but uh, let alone two uh, War of 1812 veterans, which is really neat, and as I said, it's the first time I've ever found any veterans from the War of 1812, so I made it just a, an incredible explore here today. So I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to check out the behind the scenes action on my second channel, My Story, which is available in the links below, and I'll see you all in the next adventure. Bye.